students last class uh, we defined the center of mass you would have understood the meaning of center of mass which is defined as the point or the position at which the entire mass of an object is supposed to be centered or supposed to be concentrated that is what we call center of mass of an object this class will concentrate in calculating the position of the center of mass velocity of the center of mass acceleration of the center of mass by using newton's second law for a system of particles well let us take the simplest case of an object let us take two point masses two point masses let it be one this two this two point masses comprises a system of particles this is the system of particle there are how many particles two particles this is called simplest system of particle since this two are the point masses the particles there may be some force of interaction between them let this force of interaction be f minus f let us assume that from outside somebody is pulling or pushing these particles with force f1 and force f2 respectively if you take this as a system this boundary as a system this boundary for the sake of simplicity you can put it dotted boundary or if you want to write as bold boundary also doesn't matter this is the system of particles there are two particles particle 1 and particle 2 these two particles they interact interact means either they attract each other or they repel each other according to newton's third law the interaction forces are equal and opposite furthermore this interaction forces are collinear they must pass through a particular line or same line if you take it uh, small f this is minus small f if you take it uh, minus small f this will plus small f or f1 f2 also you can write small f1 small f2 well this system of particle comprised of two particles are acted upon by two forces from outside and these two forces from within from inside and these two inside forces are called internal forces these two forces are called internal forces and these two forces are acting from outside outside and inside these two things are decided by the system this is the boundary from outside of the boundary these two forces are acting they are for these two forces are called outside forces or external forces external forces once you understand what is the meaning of external force what is the meaning of internal force then our job is 50 percent over on this particle let us assume that this particle one has mass m1 and this particle two has mass m2 if you take this particle m1 as a system on this particle m1 these two forces are acting for a single particle for a single particle all the forces are acting on the particle are external forces because this system has only one particle so all the forces acting on the particle are external there is no concept of internal for a system of particle having one particle well 